Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're talking about using the quadratic formula with irrational solutions. So here's your quadratic formula, and like I said in the video, it'll leave rent free in your head until you're 40. Uh, the, you'll notice that the stuff, the, all that garbage underneath that radical is in a different color, and that's because that is our discriminant. And our discriminant is, I like to do that first because that's where I see the most mistakes be made. So let's take, let's dive right in. Uh, first things first, we have to get these into order. So we want to get all of our variables, we want to set it equal to zero. Now, you don't have to have a positive first term, but I do like to have a positive first term. So I'm going to leave all this over here and move these guys. Minus five plus four X minus five plus four X. Okay, so when I do that, I get X squared plus two X minus seven equals zero. Okay, so now we're ready to use our quadratic formula. And if you need to draw a little arrow pointing to it, because this is what we're gonna be using, not any of this stuff. We can, in fact, we can cross all that out uh, when we use our formula. Remember, start with your discriminant, b squared minus four ac. Another good reason is if, you if it's a no solution answer, if you start with your discriminant, you don't have to write all that other stuff down. So I'm lazy, I like to do things the easiest way possible. Our b is two, so we're gonna do two squared minus four. Make sure if your b is negative, you use parentheses around here because you should never end up with a negative in the front. Our a is one and our c is negative seven. So here we have four and don't just bring down your minus sign because a negative times a negative is a positive. So it's gonna be a plus there. So plus 28, that gives us 32. All right, now that we have our discriminant, we are ready to use our quadratic formula x equals negative b, which is 2, plus minus the square root of our discriminant, which is 32, all divided by 2 times a, which is 1, so just 2 times 1. Now, this may look like it's complete, but remember, when we have a radical, we want to simplify it as much as possible. So we're looking for the largest perfect square that's in, hidden in there. Let's do some side work. The square root of 32, uh, 4 is hidden in there. But there's a larger one, which is 16. 16 times 2 would give me 32. And the square root of 16, that's 4. So 4 root 2. OK, so now what we have back over here is x equals negative 2 plus minus 2. Oh, ah, that should be a 4. I'm so sorry. 4 root 2 over 2. So you want to ask yourself, do these three things have something in common? 2, 4, and 2. They all have a 2 in common. So let's take that out. x equals 2, and that leaves us with negative 1 plus minus 2 root 2 over 2. These guys cancel out, and x equals negative 1 plus minus 2 root 2, and there is our solution. So a lot of mistakes that I see are that kids forget to factor out. Now, you can't just factor from two and two here. You can't just be like, oh, let me cross those out. Doesn't work like that. You have to factor it out first. Um, alternatively, what you can do is you can look at this and see, oh, hey, all three of those have a two in common. So you're like, divide by two, you get one. Divide by two, you get two. Divide by two, you get one. Negative one plus minus two over one, or root two over one. Uh, that works too. You just have to remember it's all three of these chunks. All right, so let's try another one. Again, we want to have um, a positive first exponent or a positive a i think you don't need to but i think it's nice because otherwise you end up with a negative on the bottom um, and we want to get everything on one side so minus 4x squared plus 9 minus 4x squared and then we'll do plus 9 here so bam bam there's a bug flying around my desk that it's driving driving me nuts so we have 2x squared minus 8x plus three equals zero. All right, let's be lazy like me and do our discriminant first. B squared minus four AC. So B is negative eight squared minus four times A, which is two times C, which is three. 64. And now in this case, it's okay just to bring down your minus because there's nothing else there. Minus 24, uh, that gives me 40. Okay, so now we're ready to use our quadratic formula. Put a big line here. So we say x equals negative b, and remember we're using this equation here, we don't care about this anymore because we cleaned it up. So negative b, which is negative eight, plus minus the square root of our discriminant, which we already figured out is 40, all divided by two times a, which is two. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit. We have x equals negative negative is a positive, eight plus minus, now root 40, let's do some side work here. 
root 40, there is a perfect square hidden in there in that it's four. Root four and root 10. The square root of four is two, so two root 10. So two root 10, all of that is over four. Now again, you wanna ask yourself, do these three things have something in common? They do, it's a two. So divide by two, you get one, divide by two, you get two, divide by two, you get four. So what are we left with then? We have x equals four plus minus one root 10, or just root 10, over two. And that's it, you cannot cancel these out. It has to be all three, so you can't, don't go trying to cancel those out. Uh, but that's the quadratic equation with irrational solutions. Hopefully you have, uh, hopefully that cleared everything up. If you have any questions, leave them below or let your teacher know and we'll see you next time.